Hey everybody, Charlie Weiser from EasyPiano.com. So I am back at you today with episode number four of Cool Sounding Chords. And I think you're going to like this one. This one's going to be in the key of A flat major. And uh, like I said, let's just go ahead and get right into it. And then after I play it for you, I will break it down. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there we have it. So here's what's going to happen. As you can see on the screen there, we're going to start off with our four chord. So before we actually get into the chord numbers, let's just go through real quick the key of A flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're back at one again. All right. So what's going to happen here with this one is we're going to start with the four chord. Let me just play the bass notes on the left hand. So we're going to start with four. Then we're going to two. Then we're going to one. We do that three times. So here's the second time. Four, two, one. We got one more time. So four, two, one. After that, we're going to go to the flat seven. To the five, to the one. Okay, so now if you're not familiar with these numbers and how I'm numbering the scale tones and all of that, don't worry about it. Just uh, go ahead and grab the notes that you see me playing, and uh, you know I'll tell you a little bit later on how you can get uh, access and learn more about that and chord voicings and everything else. So anyway, let's dive in. So the first chord we have is a D flat major nine. Okay, the voicing is one, five, three, seven, nine. Second chord we have is a B flat minor nine, which is here. Okay, so the voicing is one, flat seven, nine, flat three, five. And then the next chord we have is an A flat major nine, one, Seven, nine, three, five. Okay, so just playing those three chords, I have this. I have the D flat major nine, and that's going to be for two beats actually. So one, two, then B flat minor nine for two beats. And then we're going to the A flat major nine for four beats. Okay, so we have to do that part right there three times. So let's go ahead and uh, do that three times. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, three, again. Two, three, one more time. Two, three. Okay, and then the next section, what we're going to do is we're going to play a G flat major nine. Okay, voicing one, seven, nine, three, five. After this, we're going to play an E flat sus four chord. So voicing one, five, four, flat seven. And then we're going to go to an E flat dominant seventh chord. So all that. It involves just dropping this note here, the A flat, down to the G. Okay, so that sounds like this. Okay, notice I held all the other notes down. I just moved that. I moved from A flat to the G with everything else being held down. Okay, that's one option. Or another option, you can hit the E flat sus4 chord here, and you can hit the E flat 7th chord here. You can hit everything if you want, so depending on the sound that you like. Just play whatever you like the best. All right. 
Then after we play that, then we come back to the A flat major nine. Same voicing, one, seven, nine, three, five. Okay? And that's the entire movement there. So uh, let me play it from the beginning. If you want to, you can play it with me. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, and that last time I did something a little different. I hit the actual A flat seventh, then I added the ninth after I hit. So that's another option too. So one of the things when you're practicing these uh, chord movements that I'm showing you, feel free to experiment and uh, try some of the you know things that you might find interesting. You know, just try them out. Any ideas you have, any thoughts you have, try them out. See if they work for you. All right. So anyway, that's going to conclude uh, chord. Cool Sounding Chords, episode number four. And again, we use chord voicings when we play. And if you're interested in learning more about chord voicings, I do have some programs that uh, teach you how to voice chords. And we learn how to do seventh chords, ninth chords, 11th chords, 13th chords, all the different variations off of those. And you learn how to play them in all 12 keys. So there is a link up at the top and also a link in the description that you can click to find out more about that. So anyway, if you enjoyed this lesson, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way, whenever I come out with something new, you would automatically be notified. Until next time, have fun and enjoy.